What's up, Gearholics out there? It's me, Zach, coming up with you guys with another review uh, for you <laughs> on more gear, obviously. Um, today I'm going to be doing a review on a multi-tool, um, <clears throat> and I'm going to be talking about the theories of multi-tools and what I feel like they they best fit the roles in, and uh, my thoughts on this particular multi-tool. Um, I will be going over this specific multi-tool. Uh, this is the uh, the Gerber uh, Compact Sport Multi uh, Multiplier 400, which is a lot to spit out. Uh, I just call it the Gerber for short for me, uh, and I will probably refer to it as just the Gerber multi-tool uh, quite often in this video. Uh, it's a wonderful, it's a wonderful uh, tool. I've had this particular model for quite some time, probably around the 10-year mark, actually. Um, and, and it's, it's been, I mean, probably even longer actually than that. I, I just think I can count back up to 10 years of at least having this with me, um, or in my possession for at least 10 years. Uh, and I, I got this a long time ago as a present uh, or a gift, uh, uh, and, and it was a very fantastic gift given to me, um, a, a while back. Um, and you know, when I first received this actual gift, I was, I was relatively, uh, young, maybe, maybe not young, but I was, I was relatively inexperienced with multi-tools, uh, especially multi, multi-purpose pliers. Um, and, and this was my first, uh, multi, uh, multiplier tool set that I got or, or multiplier tool that I ever received. And, uh, since then I really have liked multi, multipliers, uh, I feel like, or, or pliers in general. Uh, multi-purpose tools. These things are absolutely amazing. They fit a wonderful wide variety of roles, and I've used this uh, in many situations uh, uh, where where other things would not have worked. Uh, and that's, you know, that's really kind of nice. Uh, that's really kind of nice um, when when your tool can do more than just one thing. You know, um, an axe can only chop and maybe hammer in tent stakes. Uh, this, you know, or a knife can only cut uh, and do so many things. Um, where the multi-tool multi -tool can almost do it all except for, uh, obviously it has limitations like other things out there, um, but I feel like it fits my roles best for backpacking and for outdoor outdoor excursions, um, especially if you're if you're constantly uh, around the campfire or if you're you know, constantly doing things around camp, um, this thing does come uh, in handy. Um, I have used this to pull splinters out of my finger, I've used this for cutting materials and, and obviously like uh, doing uh, some almost home home craft stuff. Uh, I've used it at home actually for different things such as working on, uh, you know, working on different things, uh, grabbing grabbing hot items off the stove if I had to, um, if I, this was the only thing that I that I had to grab uh, for, uh, for a while. Um, I have actually, I have actually had this for a very long time. And it is very well worn, and it has started rusting on certain spots in certain parts. Uh, and I'll show you guys that as I as I kind of go through the review. I'll try to make this as short as possible, so you guys aren't bored out of your mind. Um, but this is my this is my uh, my sport multiplier Gerber Compact Sport Multiplier 400 uh, series, and this is the old school model. Uh, you know, obviously, and, and I think they have an updated version of this. With a better blade on it, and I think they have uh, they have other models too that are probably a lot better uh, than this model and have a lot more features. So um, if you're looking for multi tools that are very reliable and functional, I know Gerber uh, at least makes decent multi tools. Um, I I have not ever owned a Leatherman uh, multi tool, and I really wish that I, I need to go out and buy one just so I can see uh, what it's like to own one of those. I have heard that um, they're absolutely incredible. Uh, I have owned actually maybe one of their smaller models uh, in the past, uh, and for some reason I lost it or I don't have it anymore, and I, I and I don't know what happened to it. And it was a nice actually, it was a nice set of of actual clippers, uh, like it had like shears instead of uh, pliers. They were they were like cutters, um, but for some reason it disappeared, and I don't know what happened to it. Uh, yeah, and um, yeah, I really do like I really do like Gerber. I think that they have a good quality. Are good standard and quality. Uh, I'm not sure if these are overseas produced or not. Uh, I think these may be made here in the United States. Um, uh, it doesn't actually say anywhere on the actual blade. Oh, it does actually. I'll take that back. It says Gerber USA. So it is manufactured here in the United States, which is really nice. Okay, I didn't know that, and that makes me like this even more than I originally did. Um, this is made out of a, a stainless steel. Gerber does do a very good job of keeping things kind of in the dark of what kind of steels and stuff they use. 
I can only guess this is probably like a high stainless steel, um, some sort of tool stainless steel, uh, something that, that can actually take a lot of work and, and yet resist uh, breaking, uh, you know, and, and also has a little bit of flex so that way, you know, when you're actually using the multi-tool, um, you know, on different things. Um, all, some of the features of the actual multi-tool, it is obviously, it obviously, obviously is like needle nose kind of style pliers. Um, and then it's got a nice like fat section here for grabbing onto uh, larger items such as uh, bolts or things that you need to undo. Um, and bottle caps really almost, you could almost squeeze a bottle cap in there if you really wanted to. I prefer a bottle opener uh, and this actually has a bottle opener on it, but I guess you could do that if you wanted to. Um, it does have wire, it has wire, um, it has wire snips here uh, that I've used quite a bit, and I'm, I'm, honestly, they've been. They've, you can almost see that they've just been really worn away uh, just over time, and there's lots of chips and nicks in them from me using it from clipping wire and other items. Um, another cool feature about this, uh, about this, uh, uh, just kind of real quick, since we're on the outside, um, these are supposed to be designed to use one-handed, and the great thing about it is. Um, this sliding mechanism really does slide when you just give it a little bit of force and uh, and then they're open. So you kind of just use your, use like a wrist flick. There it is. That was a more positive one. And uh, it, it basically just opens up right away. Um, so when you actually flick it, it does fly forward and locks. And then to, to actually bring it uh, into back to the lock position, you, you simply press these, depress these two tabs on either side and slide it down, and that's it. So it's just really nice. Yeah, it's a nice, it's a nice feature. Uh, the inside features. Uh, 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 let's see, we got. Uh, let's see, what do we got here? We got the old faithful knife that comes with it. Uh, we got a. It looks like a Phillips head screwdriver right here, um, followed by a a bottle opener and a a smaller um, flat driver. Uh, for smaller uh, flat, you know, obviously for smaller flat round uh, or flat nose um, uh, screws and things. So uh, the bottle opener works very well. It functions very well. I've used it before. Uh, it's great. Um, the Phillips head, uh, I've used it before and I have kind of worn away at it. It has a little bit of usage on it, but it works pretty good. Um, the knife, actually, the knife on the actual item uh, is, is kind of interesting. I... I've used this knife so much, and I've used this knife, uh, or this I've used this this particular uh, tool so much that the actual blade itself has been doled down, uh, and I've been resharpening it and resharpening it and resharpening it. It did. It used to actually have serrations that came up to uh, right around here and terminated, and those have since actually disappeared from me sharpening it with sharpening stones and different things outside. And it is really actually pretty sharp. Uh, I, it is definitely a decent backup blade if you needed to. Uh, I have guided fish with this. I, I've gone fishing with this knife, and it works really well in wet water, wet water environments. I would not recommend, obviously, uh, you know, I would recommend that if you're going to use this in a wet weather environment, environment that you put it on some sort of lanyard and you also take care of it, because it will rust up on you eventually if you don't if you don't take care of it. Um, some of their other models, oh, to kind of, just to kind of let you guys know, to depress, to actually take anything, like let's say you have the knife out, um, it does lock in there with this locking mechanism. Uh, and what you have to do is you have to kind of depress this locking, locking mechanism downward, uh, and then and then it folds away, and then it, it's, it's in there, it locks back into position. Um, but, you know, you don't have to depress the lock to, to actually... Uh, bring out any, any, any sections of the knife or any sections of the multi-tool, um, which is kind of nice. Um, it does have on the other side, it has a, a very, very nice pair of scissors, um, that are very, very sharp. And I have used these for many cutting tasks, uh, cutting clothing or cutting, uh, material. Um, I've used it to cut away, uh, bandages, uh, on, on, uh, if I needed to, uh, you know, if I needed to cut a bandage. Um, let's see, what else have I used this? I've used this to actually cut leather. I, I used it one time to cut leather, a uh, very thin, a very thin strip of leather, and it worked very well. And I've actually heard some people say that you can, I think it would damage the, uh, the, the actual blade itself, but I've heard you can actually, this thing is so sharp, you can actually cut pennies with it. 
but I'm not going to try that. And I feel like it wiggles a little bit too much for me, but that may just be play over time. Um, but it's an excellent, it's an absolutely excellent, uh, uh, an absolutely excellent um, pair of scissors on here, um, which is really nice. Uh, the next thing is on here is a, a large head flat screwdriver, uh, and it only has this part on it that I don't know what this is for down here. I don't think it's for anything. I think it's just the the, uh, the head of the screwdriver. And then followed by an even smaller uh, flat, flat, flat head screwdriver. Nothing too special. And then the mighty and all forgiving can opener. Wow. Let me tell you so many times have I used this can opener. So many times. And it works good. It decent, you know, it's not the greatest can opener out there, but it works really well in a pinch. And uh, I've used it quite a bit, and it's got it's got a lot of nicks and things on it. Uh, and it, it works really well. It works really well as a can opener. Um, you know, obviously, like I said, there are better can openers out there. Um, but that's all the features of this knife. You know, that's all the the actual tools and everything. Um, you know, what I like to do is if I ever have to use like the the blade or anything on any kind of task really any kind of tool that I'm using I usually I open it and I make sure I make sure that it's in the lock position and then I, I slide this up and that kind of locks these handles together so you can actually function use it and, and function with it if you have to use it to cut um, that's my preferred method uh, you know you your your choice may vary um, it is not sus it does not have suspension so this knife, this knife has no suspension in it whatsoever. Um, there are other knives out there made by Gerber that have suspension, and I think those are, are a really a really good improvement over this model. Um, and and I, I would highly recommend the suspension models. I have a friend of mine, and he's all about Gerber suspension, and he will talk about the Gerber suspension until the cows come home. And he had an older pair of he had an older pair of Gerbers that did have suspension, but I think it got stolen out of his truck. When his truck got broken into, but he, he got he has, has since replaced it, and I think his his multi tool uh, is is working pretty good. And his is really cool. It's got like a saw and all this other cool stuff on it. Um, this suits my purposes just fine. I don't really need a saw or anything uh, on my multi tools, and uh, I really do like I really do like this this multi tool. It's it's really great, and it served such a great life. Um, rust has formed, where is that rust? I did, I did polish off some of the rust, uh, before, um, some of the rust is formed on the inside of, on the inside of some of these tools, I'm trying to open it up, I think I have since cleaned it, really, uh, uh yeah, I guess I cleaned all the rust away. I, it was really rusty at one point, and I, I did go through and I, I, I lubricated and, and wiped away as much of the rust as I could. You can see a little bit of tarnishing inside the actual mechanism right there, um, but it's nothing. It's nothing really that big. Not not a really big deal. Um, the outside, these these little these little things up here, have a little bit of rust right around the edges. Um, and that's just from contact metal contact. Um, metal on metal contact, but it's nothing crazy. Um, the actual suspension works really good. I like to lubricate it. Uh, I like to lubricate the inside of this actual suspensions right here just to kind of keep things even. Uh, I lubricate the inside with a little bit of oil. Uh, I, I actually use a little bit of gun oil and that works pretty well because you know it's, it's for different purposes and it also keeps corrosion and things off. Um, the back of the blade this has a little bit of corrosion right here. Uh, I've tried to get it off, uh, but I haven't really tried that hard. But it's on there. And it's also from smacking it. I think I used it. I used it for. I used it to smack something. I, I don't remember what it was. Uh, uh, you know, I was I was in a, a situation where I didn't have a hammer readily available, and so I had to I had to use this to smack uh, down something. Um, I've used this to hold fish when I'm fishing, and you know, I tried to get a lure out of the actual fish of the mouth. Uh, the, the mouth of the fish. I use this to get it out, you know, twist it out, which is nice. You know, it's good to have one of these, especially if you're a fisherman. Um, if you don't already know that, I'm sure you already do. If you do a lot of fishing, uh, a good pair of multi, multi, multi tool, uh, a good multi tool to come with you is, is absolutely fantastic. Um, this has been my preferred carry. Uh, it, uh, I'll give you kind of like some very basic, uh, uh dimensions on this actual model. 
uh, the overall length is five uh, five point six inches. Uh, the closed length is four point three. Uh, the thickness of it is six point five. Uh, I'm sorry, is one point one. I'm sorry, point six five uh, inches thick, and then the weight on it is six point eight ounces. So it is rather uh, heavy. Uh, for a multi-tool, but it's not that heavy. It's not so heavy that you're really going to notice it. Um, they have tried to eliminate as much weight, I guess, as possible by uh, by actually taking out some material here uh, and and here, and then obviously on the sides there's material missing. Um, but they tried to save weight, but also maximize how much uh, strength you're getting. So you know, if you were to remove any more t material off of these, I think it would uh, it would just uh, preclude to failure with the actual system. So I think I did a decent job of uh, trying to mill these out and make them uh, make it as functional as possible. Uh, it did come with a pretty decent sheath. I actually really like this sheath. Uh, it's it's not too bad. It's really well made, well really really well handcrafted. It is a Cordura sheath uh, and and has served purposes for me. Um, usually I just put a carabiner. Usually I just put a carabiner like this one through here and just clip it onto my backpack or onto whatever I need it to be clipped onto and that works really well instead of clipping it on or, or running my running my actual um, belt through the belt loop uh, I, I like the clip better it just is easier on and off uh, in the long run and this 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 actually uh, because this is the older model I think that these were made more in the United States when when they were actually producing decent quality gear um, and this one was really well made. I have not had any problems with this actual uh, this actual model, uh, this this Cordura sheath. And I really feel like this is a vast improvement over the, some of the crap that they sell nowadays. Uh, and and it's just very well maintained. Uh, and especially just because I, I took care of it really well. And it fits in there super snugly. Um, there's no play. And once you kind of once you kind of close the whole thing, I mean it's not going to come out at all in any way really you can shake it all day so that's really nice you know and the, the velcro the velcro is is really strong velcro so it's not going to come off i recommend buying maybe the older model of these knives if you can find them online you should buy them because they're absolutely amazing i know that this knife runs around the 40 dollar range i think back in the day it was a little bit more expensive because it was more of a newer model but uh this is this has worked uh, vastly for me, and I feel like it, it's it's such a great multi-tool, uh, and I cannot say enough about the about the uh, the uh, Sport Four Thousand or Four Hundred, sorry, uh, multi multi-tool. So by Gerber, Compact Sport Multiplier Four Hundred. That's what it's actually called. Very good, very good blade, very good, very good knife, very good backup system. Can't say enough about them. You know. Uh, Anyways, that's all I got for uh, right now, and I'll probably be coming at you guys with more reviews. Uh, let me know if there's anything I can include in my next videos, or if there's anything I didn't tap on, or if anything you guys have questions on, let me know. Um, I'm Gearaholic, and uh, you guys be safe out there, and don't cut yourselves.